if you're a writer and you're looking for like ways to build on your skills, I definitely recommend this book. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to do another semester in textbooks video for you guys. So if you guys remember a while back I did a semester in textbooks video where I showed you all the textbooks that I needed for that semester and I realized recently that I never did one this semester so no better time than right before I turn them back in to show you guys all the textbooks I'm using for my classes this semester. I'm actually only taking four classes this semester instead of my usual five, so I have even less textbooks than I usually do. So we'll just start with what I've got. And so the first one I'll show you guys is this Thinking About Women Sociological Perspectives on Sex and Gender textbook, and it is a rental, so it's got the big sticker on it. And this one is for my Woman in Contemporary Society class. And this is a pretty standard textbook, separated by chapters, focusing on each subject, subheadings, all of that. Very normal, standard textbook. Then I actually only have one more class that requires textbooks, but I did need three for this class. So for my advanced fiction writing class, I have three textbooks. And these are a little bit more leaning towards book than textbook. So I've got Vivid and Continuous, Essays and Exercises for Writing Fiction by John McNally, and this is it. And it's basically just a bunch of different tips and um, examples on things that writers can do to really build and grow their skills. And it's been really helpful. It's very specific advice um, if you're a writer and you're looking for like ways to build on your skills, I definitely recommend this book. It's been really, really helpful throughout the class. And I found myself going back to it to really like make sure I'm understanding things or if I'm struggling with anything when I'm writing my short stories for class. So that one's been great. And then we had two different anthologies that we worked with. And the first one was The Un-Americans, Stories by Molly Antipole. And this is what it looks like. And these were all, well, the ones that we read, so I assume that's the, true for the rest of them and given the title, but this was all based on stories about people who either weren't from America originally or currently didn't live in America or anything like that. And the last textbook that we had for this class, which is again another anthology, and this was Last Night Stories by James Salter. And these were interesting too. The ones that we read from this class, a lot of them dealt with um, themes of infidelity and things like that, which is definitely an interesting perspective to read from. And what was really interesting about both books is that both writers had certain themes that would come up again and again in their stories. And it was really interesting to see the ways that they were able to make all the stories feel unique and independent, even when utilizing similar themes again and again. So I enjoyed all of these textbooks. I think that they were all great for what we needed them for in class and they really helped with my learning in my classes. And so if you guys are interested in any more textbooks that I've used or anything like that, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And go ahead and leave a comment about what your favorite textbooks that you've had in your classes are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys again next week. Bye.